Hey everybody, so uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up uh, multiple ant sticks and assign them to your smart trainers. Um, in this case, we're going to have, well, we've got one copy trainer up there. You can see that's a C1, um, and that's just for show right now. And then we have 15 other kickers that are running. And uh, these are simulated kickers, so, um, you know, I'm not going to be I don't have 15 people sitting in here to do this video and <laughs> and uh, and just to show power, um, but they actually are kickers that respond and they're all just simulated for me to uh, for testing. But um, in this case, so what we have is if we go into our options and we'll go into Ant Devices and it's already there. Uh, we'll go into the Stick Manager and we'll first make sure that we have. Let's bring this guy up will have um, all data 2A sticks. And in this case, with, with 15 kickers up, we would have typically more than two ant sticks um, just to help with the load balancing. And I'll get to that here in a minute. But what generally happens is when you first come in here, you've got one data uh, two-way stick, and then you have uh, the rest would be secondary sticks if you've got multiple in here. And so that's just kind of like by default. Um, so what you want to do then is come down here and use these, um, use the make data two-way button to turn that into a two-way. So you have that now. Now the other thing is, is and this can be a little tricky, is uh, it might be easier for you to uh, nickname these, these ant sticks. And so what you can do is, if you're not really sure which one's which, you can just unplug one of them. And if we actually do that right now, here I'll go ahead and unplug a stick. You can see that it goes ahead and it restarts. So now we know that the other stick, which one it is, because it's the one that happens to be plugged in. And so we will go ahead and either we can um, hit the ant stick or the nickname button there, and we'll call it um, stick left. Okay. And then let's we'll just go ahead and plug that stick back in. And let's refresh. So Perf Pro will detect and refresh for you automatically if you pull a stick, but if you plug one back in, you have to do that manually because perhaps maybe you want to plug it back in and use it for something else. Um, so the, um, you can see now that the other stick came about and we'll call that stick right. All right, cool. So we know which one's which now. And we know that given what we just typed in, that we want to put half the room on stick right and half the room on stick left. And when we assign uh, kickers or uh, you know any smart trainer to a particular stick, um, that's just for the communication back to the trainer. All of your ant sticks that are plugged in will be picking up all the devices, including your trainers, to show the data. Uh, in this case, this is just for talking back to the sticks. And what you find is, is that one stick can really pull in a lot of data. It can pull 60 to 80 to devices, depending on, on your setup and your interference level and that kind of thing. If you've got really tall ceilings and you're in a metal building, you know, maybe you're going to need more, more sticks. But um, all, the, all the sticks will act like one large ant stick. Uh, taking care of all the ant devices in the thing, in the in the room. But one stick that you assign to a trainer is dedicated to just talking back to it. So hopefully that's clear. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll apply those changes. And you can see it's refreshing or restarting the ant sticks. And so now we've got data two-way sticks, and we've got, um, um, but we don't have them assigned yet. Now within the, the, the trainer setup, if we go into trainer setup and then go into the kickers, um, you can see some of them were assigned at one point, probably just through testing, but for the most part, they're all gonna probably just say auto. And you're gonna get this stick column when you've got more than one data two-way ant stick set up. So what we'll wanna do is, okay, let's just happen to sort these trainers by device number just to make it easy. So we can see here, yeah, we got some very, uh, suspicious numbers here and how they're incremented and hence the simulation. Anyway, so with 1-1, one, one, let's just say everything from 1-1 one, one to 1-8 one, is going to be stick right. And we'll just assign those. And you can test along the way if you want. So let's just try it. If we test along the way, okay, yeah, we've got a pass there. Um, so 
let's move this one off an auto. And when you go ahead and you select it and you test, it's actually going to try to test on that stick. So you'll just know. Okay, so more rights, more rights, and let's go ahead and let's expand that list just to make it easier to see. And right. Okay, so there's there's one half of the room. And if we test, 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 everything is looking quite amazing. Great. So now on here, we're going to say, okay, the other half of the room is going to be stick left. Left, 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 and left. And look at that, they're all testing and passing. And when you do a test, all it's doing is just doing a quick shot over to that kicker and the kicker should respond. Um, and that's one, that, one thing that's kind of cool about kickers is they actually do respond to the commands you send them um, in a way. So um, it's good and bad. You know that it talked to it, but at the same time, we're flooding the, the airwaves with, with double the amount of messaging that's going on. Um, smart trainers, uh, other smart trainers, uh, well, I mean, kickers can run as an FEC trainer, but you generally don't want to do that. But other smart trainers like like tax trainers and all that where that where they follow the um, that FEC protocol, um, there is no response back. So like I said it's good and bad. Um, the good part is is that it's half the messaging going on. Um, okay, so enough of that quick little detour tutorial here. So we've got our sticks signed, and that's the that's really the the sum of it here. So if you go ahead and you apply that. We'll restart the sticks, and now the kickers have been assigned to those sticks. Now, like I said, the data that you're seeing is, is potentially coming from all the sticks. It's basically whatever stick gets the data first to show it. We'll, um, we'll just show it, and then they just won't run into each other um, as far as um, the, the volume of data. When I say that, it's um, there's all kinds of data coming in, and so they won't step on each other to show you the data, but one, one particular stick is dedicated to talking back to it. And what that does is that's that that way you know for sure that the closest best line of sight stick is talking to that trainer. Now uh, a, a good uh, a good thumb, uh, rule on this whole thing would be I would say no more than let's say four kickers per stick, and that will keep it that ant stick from bogging down too much when it's sending stuff back because it's as it sends stuff back, it gets a little bit bogged down to actually show you the data then. And uh, that's kind of the, that's sort of the pain point there then. And so you could start seeing dropouts if you've got one stick dedicated to all the kickers. So if you don't actually assign them and you have it set to auto, there's a slight chance that all kickers could then be assigned to one stick for communication and then you'd get this one stick bogging down and, and that could be a problem. So um, if we go ahead and we start this up, what you should end up with is a bunch of kickers that are running and you get and you then you get your blue dots. Now if at some point you start seeing red on here it means that it's been trying to talk to the 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 ant stick has been trying to talk to the kicker and the kicker is just not responding. And then that way you know for sure that uh, maybe it's time to either add an ant stick or um, and then assign it appropriately uh, and then actually when you add that ant stick try to then balance off the number of kickers that are assigned to that stick. So if before, if before you had four kickers per stick, adding one or two, now I'll make it two or three kickers per stick and load that, balance that out. Um, in time, there'll be, there'll be better solutions in time, but right now that is the solution to use. And um, hopefully that's, that clears some, some things up on how to properly set up ant sticks and kickers. As always, if you have questions, feel free to ping me. Um, and as, of I, as I come up with uh, newer and better solutions, I will certainly let you know. All right? Thanks. Bye.